So at 4 o'clock, the impact of air pollution is a big concern in Metro Atlanta. Live from our tower cam, you can see how clear it is today over Midtown. And even though the air quality has steadily improved over the last 15 years, researchers believe more must be done. Severe Weather Team 2 meteorologist Brian Monahan visited a team researching pollution's impact on the most physically active. From the first kickoff of fall under blazing summer sun to thousands of runners taking to the roads in hot, stuffy air, it's athletes who often bear the brunt of Atlanta's sometimes unhealthy blend of air. A person who is really physically active is, is breathing more air than a person who is just sitting on the sideline or, you know, or not playing a sport at all. And this year has been particularly bad. I checked, and Metro Atlanta has logged a month's worth of code orange or worse air quality days, making it an ideal summer for Dr. Roby Greenwald's team at Georgia State to measure the impact of air pollution on athletes from football players to the casual jogger. Take a city park like this in downtown Atlanta on a hot summer day. It would be full of runners and joggers, athletes that are breathing in more pollution than those who are physically less active. Maybe up to five times more than the person sitting in the stands, and that adds up. You can say that the person who's breathing more air breathed, you know, this many micrograms of ozone, which is, you know, five times higher than the amount that the person who was just sitting down was. While the study won't be complete until later next year, so far, some minor, very short term health impacts of this higher dose of air pollution have been detected. When you look at the, the dose rather than just the what was in the air but the amount that you actually inhaled that actually clarifies the picture a little bit and we do see those health effects become a little bit sharper at this point though dr. Greenwald says limit the times of day you choose to exercise rather than cut back altogether which one of those outweighs the other the physical activity almost always is on the side that outweighs the, the negative effects of the air pollution exposure meteorologist Brian Monahan Channel 2 action news